Hello guys, uh, welcome to just a short tutorial on how to extract the monitor uh, app from the entire advanced care of IOBit. So there is this app called uh, Advanced Care 11 of IOBit, uh, I don't know, uh, whatever name they have. And they have this entire advanced care which includes like tons of other uh, application inside a one program. Now the thing is that this is a very massive program when it comes to dealing with your computer data collection and uh, collecting or whatever. I think it's unnecessary. I don't like it uh, to, uh, to be on my computer all this stuff and there are a lot of more add-ons that you can install while you open the program. So what I've done, I basically only needed this performance monitor which is for me was the very neat thing I liked about this um, this application. Um, as you can see this is the minimized way, uh, look and you can click on it and just click here and see your temps of your computer if it's the GPU, CPU, mainboard and your fan speed. Um, I didn't find anything more cute than that and this is why I got stuck with this thing. I really liked it but I didn't like the idea of having all these unnecessary files in my computer. So I decided to try and do something. I took the monitor um, I, the monitor file from it which is this app which launched this app. Uh, you can see it here and what I've done after I clicked on uh, trying to launch it it always, every time I tried to launch it, it told me that I'm missing some files. So I started to extract them and exclude them from the main, uh, you know, library. And eventually I stuck with something not, uh, something doesn't cause it to launch. Now I think it was the CPU ID interface and the CPU ID D, uh, SDK as I remember it look it was like long time ago about a year or so so I, I got this uh, you know this very uh, a hunch like that it should be those two because they are dealing as like all those CPU ID you know uh, CPU Z or whatever um, application that deals with stuff like this I got the hunch that probably those files are interrupting when launching it. So basically I just brought them to here and eventually I came up with monitor working without having all this crap uh, installed on my computer. I uninstalled the entire advanced care and I've left with this performance monitor. So today it's the 20th to September 2018, right? And by now we have a different monitor and I will launch both of them now. So you can see it. This is the new one. And I've done just the same with this one. Okay. Now, <clears throat> if you have the older version or the, um, um, the newer version, basically those are the same files that you need to download. So just look on those files, exclude them, make sure you go to IOBit before and uh, install the entire pack, okay, the advanced care. You will find it under here. You can free download it, extract all those files, and just uninstall it, and you will have this. Now, one more thing. Uh, you probably want this sometimes to be um, floating while you're having something else doing, like, I don't know, open a different application, um, because what will happen by automatic, um, it will minimize itself while you're inside a different, uh, I don't know, application or game. So you want to click on it, right click on it and choose peanut settings and pin it up front. This will make sure, ensure that like the application will stay and remain uh, floating on your desktop. That's it. Hope you have fun with it uh, or it helped you. I find it like, I don't know, the most cute or uh, the most uh, smaller uh, gadget to have on your desktop while you are using your computer so that way it won't interrupt you. Um, if you want the older version try and download and look for the older uh, advanced system and extract those files. 
So this is the older, this is the new one. That's it for now. Have a good time, guys. See you.